In this video, I'll show you how to create your recurring donation in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I've created this recurring donation form here. So if we click donate, uh, donors can enter in a custom amount or they can choose some one of our predefined amount and then they can just fill in their details, agree to our terms and condition, select their payment method, and then obviously donate to this particular cause on a recurring basis. So in terms of the recurring aspect, we've got two options in the back end. So one, the admin can specify a predefined interval and a time period as well, or we can let the customer choose. So in this case, the admin's specifying the interval and also the duration as well. Okay. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, we'll be using the Give WP plugin. And this particular video is based on this article here. So I'll leave it in the description below because it's got the links to all the resources we'll cover throughout this video. Throughout this video, we'll be using the Give Donation plugin. Okay, so we'll activate the free version and we'll also be using this pro add-on to accept recurring donations, okay? So activate those two plugins. Okay, and now we'll just go ahead and quickly configure the Give plugin. So we'll navigate over to Donations and then Settings. Okay, and here we can just go ahead and configure our settings, okay? So for example, here we've got the Donation Confirmation page, Fill page, Donors Dashboard. Okay, and also we've got our base country as well. We can select our state here. If we head over to currency, we can configure our currency. Okay, and then we can head over to payment gateways. Okay, and then here we can use PayPal, offline donation, or even Stripe as well. Okay, so we can configure our Stripe payment method and even PayPal as well and offline. So we won't cover this in this particular video here. But if you visit the givewp.com site, they've got great documentation to help you through implementing your payment gateway. The default options, we can skip over this. Email, so here we've got a few predefined emails. Um, so for example, when a donor has made a donation, we can send them a thank you email and a receipt of their donation, okay, and so on, okay. So to create a new form, we'll just go ahead and click add a form here to create a new donation form. We can give it a name so we can say something like, okay, and then we can select our form type. So we can choose a multi-step, classic, or even our legacy form, okay? So let's activate this one. And then here we can customize our primary color and even font as well. So step one, here we're basically listing out our cause. So, so we've got the headline, the description. We can add a image as well. And then obviously the donate button. And then step two is the payment amount. So again, we can customize all these. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, we can go through the steps and customize this form. So let's click on donation options, which is here. Okay, so we can enable a multi-level donation. So we've got multiple price, for example, here it's saying $10, $20, $50 and so on. Or we can set a fixed amount. So let's select multi-level. And since we're creating a recurring donation, we've got two options. So we can let the donor choose or we can have admin configure a few predefined donation options, right? So I'm going to select admin defined. And then here we can specify the interval. So we can say month, quarter, year, day and so on, or even one off. And then we can specify the duration as well. Okay, so for example, we've got a few predefined amount here. So we can say help one dog, we can say help five dogs and so on. Okay, so just make it specific for your use case. But here we've got the different levels and then we can specify the amount. Okay, and this will be every month. Okay, okay, so that looks fine. If you wanted to add a new level, you can do so here and we can also remove it as well. Okay, so let's remove this level. Okay, we can customize our terms and condition. So we can create a global terms and condition, or we can actually customize it on this individual form, okay? Okay, so now we can actually click publish. Let's add a featured image. Okay, then we'll click copy shortcode. And now we'll create a new page in which we wanna embed this form, okay? So let's just click new and then page. Let's hit publish and preview our recurring donation form. Okay, so this looks really good. So we can click donate. We can enter in a specific amount or we can choose one of our predefined amount, which will be donated monthly. Okay, again, then we can enter in our details here and then we can select our payment method. 
and then just confirm our recurring donation. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment box below.